Okay, what's up guys? This this is NMRCI and this is part three of our X carve build. So as you can see, we have this new drawer thing on the side. It's actually just an old drawer that we took out of a set of cabinets and we repurposed it onto this X carve. So before we installed this, the um, Arduino and power supply were actually sitting right here and they got a lot of dust and stuff from uh, machining. As you can see, the whole thing is really quite dusty from all from machining wood and so on. So we put it inside here and there's actually a top that goes on here and that way we can put like a filter on it so no dust and um, other material gets onto the Arduino. And also in here, you can see we have a Raspberry Pi, a USB hub, and also a VGA to HDMI adapter. And so this is going to be for something else that I'm going to show you. So the USB hub basically connects to the keyboard and the mouse that we have sitting down here. As you can see, we also have a light in here, so we can um, watch the thing cut as, during the night. And down here for the VGA, we actually have a monitor that I repurposed from my setup into um, this x carve since I got myself a new monitor and this thing was doing nothing. We also have a Wi-Fi, which is like the wireless adapter. Let's see if I can get a better show of that. Which is the wireless adapter for the Raspberry Pi. And yeah, the reason I had to use a USB hub is because the Raspberry Pi only has two USB um, in, uh, like inputs or outputs. So you have to use one of uh, the USB hub. So here you also have the connected the Arduino, and uh, we also have another USB extension. So now I'm going to put the top on to this compartment and show you what it looks like. And I have my mouse, keyboard, and my monitor hooked up. And this is why you have to have the HDMI to VGA adapter because the Raspberry Pi only outputs HDMI, but this is an old monitor which only runs on VGA. So you need to put an adapter in there so you can run this monitor. If you're doing something similar at home and you don't have an old monitor, you can go to like an, a computer shop and they'll usually have second-hand monitors for like $20 and you could use something like that. Since we don't really care about response times or um, color accuracy with this, you can literally get the cheapest monitor you can find and just hook it up as long as it works. Now some improvements I want to make to this is um, I want to run a piece of wood right across here with a cutout for a circle in here so I can have the monitor mounted up parallel in here and I'm also going to get a wireless keyboard with like an integrated trackpad on the side that way I don't have to have these two bulky things here and it'll just look cleaner in my opinion and so currently I'm plugging in my USBs into this little USB extension that runs into the USB hub on the inside but in the future since we have the Wi-Fi installed on the Raspberry Pi inside. We, um, I'm actually planning to set up a NAS at home and so that way whenever I design my CAD um, I, make the G I, send the, I make the G code on my, on my um, home PC I can then put it onto the NAS and then I can access the NAS from the Raspberry Pi on the inside and then I don't need to bring a USB down every time with me. And so now you might be thinking, why do I have to go to all the trouble of getting a Raspberry Pi to run this? Well, you actually don't have to, you can just run it off your laptop. But since my laptop isn't very powerful, I had to borrow my dad's every time I wanted to do any work in here. And we already had a Raspberry Pi sitting around doing nothing. So we decided to just put it in here. We already had a monitor, we had a keyboard, we had a mouse, we basically had everything. So it was really just putting everything into an old cabinet box thing which we got at um, the recycling market for literally like two bucks. So this way my workflow on the CNC is a lot faster and it's pretty cheap as well since I got most of this stuff from, as I said, the recycling market. These cabinets were taken from the recycling market. They were 50 bucks total for that whole thing. This thing was pretty cheap. And uh, yeah, so basically I already had everything, just hooked it up and it works great. So if you guys like this content, Please don't forget to throw me a like, subscribe, share and comment on this video and I will see you guys later.